I want to make a video answering some of the comments you guys left on my channel today. But first I want to show you, this is a picture that I had taken at a photography studio a few months back. And then one of my friends made it into a painting in Photoshop. And I have a whole bunch of like paintings of me in my home, which is super cool. Um, okay, so I made a video yesterday saying that I don't like it when men say, hey, sexy, hey, beautiful, um, as an introduction. And I had several comments on that. One was, um, why would you be offended by someone calling you sexy or beautiful? I am not. I love it when a man says, hey, you're so sexy, you're so beautiful. But what I'm not okay with is when I'm online and someone reaches out and in the first message, they say, hey, sexy, how's your evening going? Hi, beautiful, with nothing after. The men who are actually looking for a relationship and the ones who are sincere, they will address me by my name online, which is Morgan, and they will say, hi, Morgan, and something like that. They use my name. And I guess saying, hey, sexy, hey, beautiful, that's what a lot of younger men do that are being very casual. And if it was someone I'm dating, I'd be okay with that. But I don't think that it's a proper way to greet a woman initially. Like if you were in the grocery store, would you come up to me and go, hey, sexy? It just isn't respectful. And it doesn't show that you're um, purposeful and intentional. And I'm screening out for that. If I were just looking for a hookup buddy, I would be okay with that. So for the young man who says he's not a fuck boy, he greets women like that. I want to know if you do that in your initial message online and what kind of women you're getting. Because you will not get women like me who have standards and boundaries and confidence. Because we think that's um, very casual um and just making us into some object like it's not even capitalized and proper grammar and proper conversations we want to greet people with respect um and then get more casual as we get to know them okay so it's about some kind of social skills and intentionality another comment the second comment on that was why do you attract men like that and I think that's a legitimate question I want to address. So online, actually, I don't attract men like that. He was the only one out of probably 200 messages I got. I did get a lot of just likes or hearts or hi. And I don't think that I'm attracting that. Um, that's just what happens. Um I have not gotten anybody that's tried to catfish me. I haven't got anyone who just wanted to fuck me. I had one gentleman who said he was looking for fun in the third message, but he was very respectful when I told him I wasn't interested. Um, so I don't believe in that. We're attracting that. I think what we attract is what we keep in our lives. So anyone can come up to me and send a message but it's whether I take it in and because I'm not attracting fuck boys, I weed out guys who say, hey, sexy. Now, if I got a lot of messages like that, I would have to look at my profile. Um, because I think the profiles that we write are going to attract a certain kind of people. So if I have a lot of really sexy photos with cleavage, I'm going to get a lot of fuck boys. Since my photos are very... Um, uh, modest and I have a short confident sounding written story I am getting men who are really super respectful even the guy who said hey sexy was very honest with me and he said I was kind of turned off by your reply I wish you all the best like he didn't ghost me he didn't belittle me um, I did have two gentlemen who got angry when I told them I wasn't interested and they were older men, I would say, not so good with their emotions, probably why they're divorced, I don't know. Um, another question had to do with, um, don't I get lonely? And no, I do not get lonely at all. I keep myself so occupied. I love reading. I love watching YouTube videos on different topics making dinner, I go to the grocery store, I take photos of myself from my fan page, I exercise, I have friends, I have family I talk to in the evening, 
I like to clean. Um, I keep myself pretty occupied. I will say that after my divorce, it was hard the first two years. I'm going to say it was really hard. I got lonely a lot. I was a little bit needy and I had to learn to find my own groove and make my life about me. So to overcome my loneliness, I did two things. One, I felt the loneliness in my body as this big dark pit in my belly and I mentally went inside of it. And that was in August of 2017 or 18, 17. And it took like three seconds. I was afraid to go inside of it. It felt like this dark abyss. But I went inside the abyss and I have not been lonely once since. Not once. Um, so that's the energetic release. And then also what helped me get over it is that I decide mentally if I... If I focus on myself and doing something exciting for myself or something that interests me, then I keep myself um, excited about what I have going on. And I like a lot of alone time. I'm more on the side of I'd rather be uh, more time alone than time with people. That's me. Uh, I think some people who are a lot more pe uh, relational or like to be around people more maybe would be lonely and not be okay living alone. But I need a lot of alone time because I get around people too long. I get a little bit antsy and fidgety. I just have to get away. Uh, I think those were the questions. Uh, I'm going to invite you to have, if you have any other questions for me that you want to ask, you know, just leave them in the comments. I will um, answer them if I feel like answering them. And for those people who like to make comments that are disrespectful to me, I do hide those people from the channel. I can just click hide user from channel. And that means any other comments you make will not appear. You can write them all you want. I like... Um, I think we should keep this positive. I'm giving free entertainment. And I think that people, if they don't like it, just don't watch it. If you get triggered, maybe think about why you're triggered or don't watch it. There's no reason to be leaving bad comments. I'm not here putting anyone down. I'm just sharing my experience, which takes courage and vulnerability and energy. And I'm giving you free entertainment. So for those people leaving bad comments, have a little gratitude and have a little grace and have a little class, okay? Um, and anyway, I want to thank those of you who regularly leave comments. I've, I do read all the comments now, and I either give a heart or a reply depending on my mood and how much time I have. I'm going to make, um, I'm going to be making some videos reading from my books, and I'm also going to make another video today about my fan page. Um, thanks so much for watching my video. I just got back from a run and I have a client coming. Oh, in the next, within the next hour. Or so I have to finish vacuuming, jump in the shower and get on my cute garters and secretary outfit. That's what he wants me to wear. He's coming all the way from Los Angeles. So I do get clients that come from Los Angeles. So um, because there's a demand for mature women in the escort space, we don't have enough mature women. So if you're over 50, you might want to consider it. Um, anyway, thanks for watching my video, you guys.